Good morning all, Camelback Trading Auto coming to you this Thursday morning, September 23rd. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of SPY, IWM, and Triple Qs. And after a lot of erratic price action, the last two hours of the trading day, as the market was just whipsawing based on the Fed decision and the press conference, it took takes a full night to digest, I guess. They pushed down again late, like they've been doing. And now we're attempting, attempting to open near the upper end of yesterday's range and possibly gap higher in all three of these indices. Remember, Russell filled their gap yesterday. So that gap was filled as they had come out of an inside day, did a nice job and filled their gap. Both Triple Qs, Spy and ES have not filled their gaps, although they're attempting to this morning. Um, I'm just going to give you uh, the overnight highs and lows. So right now, the overnight high in SPY is 441.90, and the overnight low is 437.60. Now, we did have a nine wide POC that was going to be an upside destination. So, two things to keep in mind. If we gap higher, if, then yesterday's high of 440.03 becomes an upside destination. And the POC, the nine wide POC of 438.28, is also a downside destination. If we fill the gap up above 441.02, I did give you destinations last night, which you should have 441.99, nine wide from the 17th, 443.24 afternoon rally high from the same date, and 445.37 daily high. So, what's transpiring this morning? Well, we I posed a question to my room yesterday, late in the day. Are we, is this a bull market on its last gasp? Or is this a market that's about to start grinding higher? Well, right now, after digesting what the Fed had to say, obviously they're attempting to grind higher. I still feel last week's high is going to be the uh, ultimate to see if we're going to go get new highs. If we take out last week's high, we should finally get above that Friday's um, into the upper distribution from that Friday of September 10th, I believe it was. If you can't do that, again, nothing's really much changed for me. So we're going to see if that happens. As far as a game plan for this morning, either now or at 930, if we gap higher and it's a gap you know, between 30 and 50 cents, I would take a call play against that to see if we hold the gap and finally go fill the other gap from the other day. They could also go and front run the overnight high by that point, but that's, you know, the, the gap gets filled at 441.01. We're 90 cents higher in our overnight high. So we can fill the gap and still not get the overnight high. So that's one play. Um, on the flip side, if we don't gap higher, or even now, as you can see, we're trading just below yesterday's high. You can take a short play to see if they do not take out yesterday's high. Obviously, any acceptance back above it, I'm out. Because if we stay accepted inside of yesterday's range or we have a gap that fails, we really don't have anything to the nine wide park. Remember, we've been talking about how these destinations are far and wide apart and these short-term algos go and seek them out, right? They're heat-seeking missiles. So until we get more MGI, you're going to get possibly chop, especially if we stay inside yesterday's range. We can get a better um, idea uh, or firmer direction if we get above yesterday's high and go to fill that gap and then see if we can get the overnight high. And then on the chart, I'm just going to show you the daily again tomorrow night. We recap all three of these charts indices. So we know the monthly is in balance and the weekly is down. Actually, we'll show you the weekly because not only is the gap my main focus, Right now, last week's high 448.92 is. So depending on where we close this week, this week's high would be the main focus unless we're able to take out last week's high. And on the daily, we went from balance to up. So that's positive, but there's still a lot of steps the buyers have to do. First and foremost, fill the gap. If they do that, then they have to get to the 50. Then you have the 20. Then you have last week's high. This isn't going to be as easy, right? Remember, all year we bounced with tremendous uh, energy ab above the 50 each time we just dip below it. Well, this is a little different this time. Three days below it, four days closing below it. So now we're going to have to see the way we had the good pushes off of it to the upside. Will sellers be able to defend it if we get there? 
or buy is going to slice right through it. All remains to be seen. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.